In this segment, we will study the diffusion equation. Our main aim is to convert the diffusion equation into a finite difference form. Our main formalism is FTCS formalism. FTCS formalism is finite time center space formalism. We will discuss later on. First, we are considering the diffusion equation as k times del to u which is a function of x and t del x square del u function of del u function of x and t del dt and uh, this is our diffusion equation in one dimension that is one dimensional diffusion equation and with the given initial condition that is u x comma 0 that is for at time t equals to 0 that, that is fx some function of x and u 0 comma t that is a one of the boundary and u l comma t that is equals to b that is another boundary condition that means we are considering the diffusion equation over rod over a one dimensional uh, rod that is one end is the function that is a another end is a b fixed forever for all time t and at t equals to 0 the all the values uh, intermediate intermediate with them initial that is given by fx. Now let us understand the dynamics of this uh, of this situation um, that is the main aim and what happens as, as we allow time and first we ex explain the explicit matter on what is expl explicit matter that will be discussed later on. First uh, we convert the second order space derivative as u x comma d x plus d x comma d minus 2 u x t plus u x minus d x t divided by del square that is uh, 3 point central difference formula and the for time derivative is ex expressed as a uh, forward time difference 2 point forward time difference formula that is u x t plus d t minus u x t divided by d t. Therefore, we are just throwing uh, we are just um, uh, putting all these terms into the equation 3.1 we will get um, this equation very straightforward and after that we are just putting in grid or index notation that is u x plus d x comma t that is u i plus that is forward in forward in space that is u i plus on i, I plus 1 at point at time t and u x minus d x is represented by represented by u a u i u subscript i minus 1 superscript t superscript t here indicates the time instant at at which you are calculating the u and u x comma t is u i t that is at position i at time t and u x plus d t in forward time that is represented as i t plus 1 and all these things are just uh, writing uh, all these things are you putting into this equation 3.7 we will straightforwardly uh, get this equation that means uh, the, this part and after cleaning up uh, we will get u i t plus 1 and that is uh, uh, sorry I am just explaining this term that is k and u goes that t is here and delta x is here that means k delta t by dx square and I'm calling this term as lambda and after cleaning up u i t plus 1 that is lambda times u i minus 1 t 1 minus 2 lambda u i t plus lambda u i plus 1 subscript t subscript you understand as I told you this is the time instant this is a later time instant this is a previous time step the values of the previous time step and this is the value of the later time state at the position i just if we um, that we, uh, if we just run it recursively we will get uh, for all the points and all the times you will get the value of all points at all times numerically you can get this and you can we, we, we later on we will show how to program this uh, in python and we have just converted the diffusion equation into an algebraic equation also known as a discrete equation and which is very easy to implement and here lambda must be k that means k delta t by del x square must must be lesser or equal to half it is due to stability reason we will discuss in the later episodes what is stability of this uh, type of methods and all that I am not discussing it here you just keep in mind lambda should should be less than or equal to half and this is your that uh, the finite difference grid finite difference grid for diffusion equation in the x-axis or this is the 
positions are indicated this is some ith point this is i minus one th point this i and we are marching in time in this direction this is a marching in time and this is my equation suppose i at sub some point t you know the values i am just converting is or t plus one whatever you just t if you consider this is t then uh, this will be t minus one this is a dynamic quantity there is t minus one at point this is a t minus one at the instant the values of use at different points that means if you want to calculate at this point uh, you need the values of this is uh, values of this this thing values of this point and values of this point and depending on these three guys and you will calculate at, at a previous time step you calculate the next time step here and in this way you are marching along the time axis as well as you shift this stencil in the rightward direction from left to right you will get all the points and in all time instants and it is uh, um, um, categorically or it is um, schematically described um, represented in this diagram this is explicit method L stencils this kind of stencil that is you know this is unknown line at this point the value is unknown you are just requiring um, you are just uh, demanding uh, the value at this point you values of you at this point this point and this point and depending on that you are calculating this thing this is an unknown line and this is a known line that's why this is explicit methods there is only one unknown at the left hand side and all the values are known because uh, the reason is uh, the following the boundary condition that means u0 to that is 0th point of the rod that means you are discretizing the rod something like that way and uh, at this point the value is a and at this point the value is b that means u 0 t is a and u 0 n is the other point that is b and u i commas i is 0 that means time instead 0 that is f x i for all points intermediate points that means here we assume that the l is sliced as x i equals to i delta x i is 0 to n the this equation that means the basic equation that is this equation this equation is um, can be expressed for every interior points on the one dimensional rod considered here it gives the value of u at the node some at particular point x i uh, at time instant t based on the values of u at the um, at the time in at a time t minus 1 at the node i and its neighbors i minus 1 and i plus 1 this feature is depicted in the diagram this this diagram this explicit technique is also called the forward time centered space because time derivative is rep represented as a forward time uh, but space derivative second order space derivative is represented as second order approximated central space approximation that is why FTCS this is written here because the time derivative ut is approximated by the first order forward time approximation and second order space derivative that is uxx is approximated by the second order center space approximation the formulation of a continuum equation in a finite difference equation which expresses one unknown in terms of known values is known as explicit method 